she was cold and he gave her a jacket to wear. Robert decided he wanted to walk slower and try to track a bear. Trenny said she would run back, um, run ahead and walk back with another group of students. She caught the group of kids and together they made their way back to the parking lot. About half a mile from the parking lot, the students wanted to stop for a rest. While doing so, Trenny jumped up and took a few steps ahead to look at something on the trail. Some of the students had witnessed her crouching down and looking off to the right as if something had caught her attention. She must have heard or seen something. Another group of students had caught up with the kids who were resting and everyone began chatting away. They were ready to start heading back to the parking lot um, when they noticed that Trenny was nowhere to be seen. Thinking she might have just kept on walking, they continued their walk back to the bus. Around 3.30pm, they made it back onto the bus and realised that Trenny wasn't there. Don Dunlap also now realised that Trenny wasn't there and he took a student with him and they headed back out on the trail to search for her. After an hour of searching and finding nothing, Trenny Gibson was reported missing. Since this case um, took place quite um, a while ago, the details of the actual search aren't well documented. We do know that volunteers um, came out and dogs were brought in as well. The dogs led their search and would stop at a spot where their trail intersects with the Alachia Jane Trail. The dogs also found a scent through the thick woods that led to an area near the Kling, Kling Manstro and then ended up um, by a road where the trail suddenly stopped. Searchers also found empty beer cans and cigarette butts near the spot on the road and they had found the same exact ones on the trail as well. Nothing made sense. Would Trenny run away? No one believed that she would. And she didn't take anything with her out of the ordinary that day. Could she have been abducted? If so, no one in or around the trail remembers seeing anything suspicious that day. She have wandered off and gotten hurt. Also a possibility. But why and where did she go? That she hasn't been found in 46 years. Police began investigating and two names come up early on. First it was, I don't know if you guys would guess if it's obvious, but the first person um, to come up in the investigation was her friend um, Robert Simpson. This was who she spent um, the most of the day with. Um, his story of going to track a bear had actually raised um, quite a few su suspicions. But then Trenny was also seen with another group of students after she left him. Could it have been Robert that Trenny saw in the woods before she vanished? Some students came forward a day or so after Trenny had disappeared and said that 